Good evening, my little nerds. I'm Dr. Shireen Idris, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you do not know what's good for you, or if you know what's good for you, rather, make sure to subscribe, follow, and like this video. Today, we are gonna be getting unready together because today has been the Monday, the longest Monday of the year, the Monday from hell, to be honest with you. And I just wanna get unready with all of you because the door is closed, the kids are asleep, my husband's watching some version of I don't know what, and I am here with all of you. Before I jump in, who the hell am I? I'm Dr. Shereen Idris, I'm a board certified dermatologist, and welcome to my channel. We are switching seasons, it is getting hotter outside, and as such the temperatures are rising, it is getting more humid, and so our skincare needs to be tailored. In fact, as it gets hotter and more humid, we don't need as much moisture every single day during the day, and I use the nighttime to sort of restore that. Plus, as it is getting more humid, we tend to be oilier so you have to kind of switch off how you are approaching your skincare and last you become slightly more sensitive and with the stronger sun you have to be more protective over your skin and that is how you can tailor your retinol tretinoin situation at night before we jump into all the goodies of skincare pillow talk germ cannot be pillow talk germ without the pills and so let us start our nighttime routine with our pill intake guys buckle up get ready so for those of you who know i have had two babies i have a five-year-old and a three-year-old i'm almost 40 years old and your hair changes as you get older especially postpartum and i went through a stage in my life where i had a lot of shedding and a lot of hair thinning and it took a mental toll on me and it was a mind f um, to say the least as such I have been somebody who's been doing PRP twice a year in my practice because it hurts so much, I can't do it more often. And therefore, in order for your hair to hold on to its density, you have to be consistent with your hair care, just like your skincare. So I personally do take Nutrafol. I carry it in my practice, it has a cult following. They recommend taking four pills at once. I take two at night and two in the morning. So I start my routine with two Nutrafol pills at night. Um, FYI, it is loaded in antioxidants with curcumin, which is the active of turmeric, as well as another antioxidant known as tocotrienol extract. Now, fun fact, curcumin has over 28 clinical studies in which the benefits have been shown to help with cellular regeneration that is needed for hair growth. And they actually did a six months clinical trial, which is huge. And it showed that 81% of the participants noticed an increase in thickness of their hair. So sign me up because I do not want to go back to where I used to be postpartum. Following pills of Nutrafol, Zizel, and I am not sponsored by these people, is my main squeeze <laughs> because this little buddy nugget of a gem right here saves me from becoming a blowfish by the morning and keeps my allergies in check. And you hydrate, of course. And last but not least, Flonase, because allergy season is in full swing. Now, side note, something I have learned from my allergist friend. I used to kind of inject like this, or spray like that. She taught me that you need to bring your head down, close your nostril, and point it towards your ear. I've been getting such better usage out of my Flonase ever since changing that tiny little positioning. Now all of you know how to use your Flonase better. And don't blow your nose right away. Let it work its magic. Because otherwise you're just blowing it out of your system and you literally wasted I don't know how many dollars. So those are what I start my nighttime routine with the Nutrafol, the Zizel, and the Flonase. And then we jump into skincare. So I am going to be a little bit of a tease. And I am not going to show you this next product, but I'm going to show you something that I am kind of working on. Because it's a really fun one. So... Taking my on dry skin, I'm going to take a cotton pad and apply the to the cotton pad. And I've had my makeup done professionally today, so this is one that I'm going to do for the very first time in front of all of you. This is not a makeup remover, so it's actually very interesting i wanted to try that one with a cotton pad first the next one i'm just gonna go to town and massage it into my face and then i'll go wash it off oh. 
Come with me to the shower. You guys will be right here. And the best test is going to be the towel test. right here all right and now you can see skin is clean all in one foul swoop it's something that i'm very excited about it's still in its prototypical phase so once we've washed our face and we have all of it cleared up it is time to go in with a serum so because it is summertime because i am oilier and because i am more sensitive i want a combination of salicylic acid which is a bha which is more oil soluble as well as a lighter aha more like a mandelic acid glycolic acid is the strongest and so then it goes lactic then comes mandelic so mandelic is the weakest but it still gives you some of that brightening effect that you may want to have because like i always say an even skin tone is next to godliness and so for this one i'm going to be using allies of skin it's very hard to speak with this retainer, the Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum, which has 11% mandelic acid. It also has salicylic acid and lactic acid. I don't love that they call it 11% because that's a complex, but it's a combination of all of three of those acids. Plus it has nanopeptide one, which does inhibit the production of melanin. So it kind of helps with evening out your skin tone as well as palmitoyl tripeptide five, which has been shown to slow down the aging process. So it has has some anti-aging benefits as well and the kushal which is the natural alternative to retinol it is also known as a retinol mimicking ingredient if you were the allies of skin and as you guys can see i'm gonna love you i'm gonna put three pumps oops just like that and then i'm gonna just massage it onto my face Okay, again, I have been very oily, especially on my T-zone and on my forehead, which is part of the T-zone, the nose, as well as the chin area. I'm gonna put anything on the back of my hands because why not? Once the Mandelic Acid Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum has dried off, it does leave a little bit of a tacky residue, but you do get a nice glow from it. I mean, I'm not hating this glow at all. I go in for the Pillow Talk Derm Hyper Serum because that is my jam. My jam is to be as even as possible because quite honestly, in my practice, I've noticed that if you have an even skin tone, you are set for life and it doesn't matter how many lines or wrinkles you have in this lifetime. As long as your skin tone is even, you're set. And I'm using now the Hyper Serum by Pillow Talk Derm. This one now has additional things compared to what I just put on my face from Allies of Skin. It has Kojic Acid, Arbutin, Licorice Root, Niacinamide at 5%. It also is one of the powerhouse products of the Major Fade line to address hyperpigmentation and discoloration. Love, love, love. And I mean, that sheen is killer. The sheen from the Mandelic from Allies of Skin and this is like fantabulous. <laughs> I mean, je ne sais pas quoi faire. I don't know what to do with myself. Now that we have washed, exfoliated, brightened, it is to retinol or not to retinol is the question of the night. And this is one where you have to really listen to your skin and get to know your skin. If you are a retinol veteran, you can very honestly use retinol on the same nights that you've exfoliated with the salicylic acid mandelic acid situation if you are a retinol virgin then i would strongly consider that you guys reconsider using a retinol on the same nights but if you want to dip your toes and you're feeling frisky then i would say not all retinols are created equal and this is where you have to be smart about what you're applying on your skin if you're a beginner or if you're feeling frisky and you just don't know where to go, I would never, ever, 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 ever tell you to use a prescription like Altrino because you'll burn your face off and you will hate me. But would I tell you to try using an over-the-counter retinol at its lowest percentage? 
probably. And now that we have the gram active retinoids, the ones which are the cousins of retinols, which are apparently not as aggressive and lighter, you have even more options to play with than just going down a whole retinaldehyde, retinol, retinal situation. You have the gram active retinols, retinoids that you can actually play with as well. And this one is one by e.l.f. Skin. It is their Skin Youth Boosting Advanced Night Retinoid Serum. Now, it's not quite advanced because it is made up of 1% gram active retinoid, which is actually equal to 0.1% hydroxypinacolone retinoate, which is lighter even than Skin Rocks's number one, which they have for retinols. It is also married to 0.06% retinal, so you have a little bit of that oomph in there, and it has a couple of antioxidants. I love that it comes in a pump. It already wins my heart. It comes in a opaque pump, so that is great. And let us see what this comes out as. One little pea size amount is all you need for your face. You do not need to go in this area. If you are sensitive, just beware because if you do, you probably will shed like a snake. Putting a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. Lightly dab under our eyes. Now here's another quick trick for all of you guys. On the neck, we may be skipping on all the crazy moisturizers and going less aggressive in the summertime, but the one area of your body which you really shouldn't skimp on, especially as you get older, is the neck. And I love Cetraban for the neck. So what I do here is I apply it first to really lock in the hydration here because your neck is gonna need, I'm choking myself, as much as you can possibly get. And if you're being really, really, really adventurous, a tiny little bit, even less than that pea size on top of the Cetra bed is gonna help your neck in the long run. So that is face and neck down to the tatas. I didn't go quite down because we don't wanna make this X-rated and get called out. Always go back to my Active Seal by Pillow Talk Germ because it has a vitamin C ester, which is also known as tetrahexyl ascorbate. And because that is not the active form of vitamin C, I wanna go ahead and use it twice a day to get the full benefits and to give some more antioxidant effect overnight. So just FYI, Pillow Talk Germ products were created. Oh, I just love doing this. Finally, I created all of them to match all skin types meaning whether you are oily, whether you are greasy, whether you are dry, whether you're a combination, whether you're quote unquote normal skin, you can use the products and all you really need to do is layer. So it's just enough, especially if you have oily skin, if you have really dry skin or live in a very dry climate, you will get the benefit from all of the products because they all have actives targeting specific problems, but you may need to layer it in with, an, or pad it in rather, with just a thicker, richer, basic moisturizer in order to hold on to that hydration. And voila. I missed it on the. Let me turn off that TikTok. So I was trying to multitask and create a TikTok as I was doing this whole video for you guys tonight. So that is what I do on my face at night in the summertime. If I'm feeling hypersensitive, I will pair back the mandelic acid and I would maybe skip it. I do try to exfoliate on average two to three times a week at night. If I'm at the beach, obviously I'll try to go a little bit less. And then in the morning, by the way, FYI, sometimes I didn't shower tonight. Sometimes when it's very hot, I come in and I shower at night. And after the shower, I've been recently turned on to this Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elastic Cream. Now, do I really believe that their plant-based collagen is gonna help me make collagen? No, I don't. Um, do I really believe that their cacao oil is gonna be as strong as retinol? No, but it does have some retinol mimicking properties. It is a vitamin A, and that does help to nourish the skin. And it does have squalane, which is a really good hydrator for your skin. But the reason I was turned on to it is because I wish you guys could smell this. And the texture, oh my Lord have mercy, is just heavenly. So I will not necessarily be putting this thickness anywhere here, but I will be putting this thickness all over my pasty pale legs to give them the extra hydration they need because they have not been very well kept for over the winter months and they need to catch up fast. 
it smells divine and we're not wasting this at all um even though i'm not i want to spare you guys the sights of my legs because i don't want to give you guys nightmares tonight but it's amazing amazing and voila that is my transitioning into summer skincare routine i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys next week have a great saturday and happy memorial day weekend for all of those who are celebrating and i hope you guys have a lot of fun in the sun with sunscreen and all of your loved ones have a great weekend guys